All right, guys, welcome to another episode of The Moderns. Today we have a battle pack set here. It is set number 75167, Bounty Hunter Speeder Bike Battle Pack. Has 125 pieces. Comes with uh, three minifigures and this droid minifigure. And on the back here... Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything too crazy other than some stud shooters on the little speeder thing, but there aren't very many play features. This is all about the minifigs these battle packs are, and uh, these are kind of some cool minifigs that you don't normally get. So without any further ado here, let's, uh, let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got inside the box. All right, cool. So not really a big surprise here. We have three bags. They're not numbered. This is a pretty small set, so it's all going to be built pretty much as one. And uh, we've got the instruction manual, which is pretty much the size of the instruction manual you would expect for a set this big. So without holding anybody up too much here, let's uh, get to building this and see what it looks like on the other end. Okay, so small set, small review here. Overall, pretty easy build for this set. Um, got a speeder bike here. I think it, you know, pretty much looks like a Star Wars speeder bike. It might be in a comic book somewhere or in one of the animated series that I don't really watch. I don't watch much other than the theatrical movies as far as the Star Wars universe goes. I don't get too far into the other parts of it. Um, but I do like this blue color that they include with it. And it's just kind of your, uh, you know, basic bare bones speeder. Now, as far as the minifigures go, this is probably my favorite. And I want to say the reason he's my favorite is because he was um, in episode four. This guy might have been in episode four, too. I'm not 100% sure. But I know for sure this guy was. I call him Lizard Man. I know he probably has a different name. But anywho, um, I do like actually all the minifigs that come with this set. They're all pretty good. They all have good printing on both front and back with the exception of the robot guy. Um, all come with stud shooter guns, uh, which I think is the thing that Lego's going towards as opposed to the kind of uh, just fake or realistic, we'll call it realistic looking uh, shooter guns. They're giving them all stud shooters so they can shoot you know back and forth at each other in lego form so overall give this set a good thumbs up nice little set for any star wars lover on your uh, you know on your christmas list on birthday list whatever so good overall set <laughs> 